Now in this session, I'm going to be showing you how to loudness and true peak process audio that's been delivered as a discrete set of files. So that's mono channels, one file per channel. And I'm going to be doing that using the Karma Audio AU plugin and Soundtrack Pro. And you're going to see some waveforms showing the loudness processing having its effects. And for that, we're using a TSL PAM2 3G16 as well as our loudness monitor. Okay, so let's get on with it. I'm going to start Soundtrack uh, by opening up this discrete surround bass project, which you can download from our website. If you go to www.iheight.com slash video.asp, find this video podcast. Under that, there'll be a link that allows you to download it. This project just gets me up and running with surround audio as quickly as possible. It has a set of six tracks, which defined, and I've already used the surround sound mixers to ensure that each track is uniquely and entirely associated to a particular speaker in that surround system. So if you go through and explore them, you'll find they're all parked on their own particular speakers. So what I'm going to do now is bring in my audio. Uh, in fact, there you go. So I've got some discrete surround audio here. So by that I mean that every channel is a mono channel in its own file. And you can see here uh, the file names tell me which channels I'm going to allocate to. So I'm just going to drag those and place those onto the right tracks on the timeline. This is now building up my surround mix from my discrete audio channels. So that's now got my, my mix up and running. And now I'm just going to play a little bit of that and you'll see, I'll bring up the, the TSL monitor. Now I'm just going to play a couple of minutes of this and you can see on the PPMs we're getting significant peaking over PPM6. And on the loudness, you can see that we're going into the red. In this instance, we're looking at short-term loudness, and we're targeting minus 18 LUFS based on a four-second short-term loudness window. So everything in the red is going above that threshold. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna skip ahead and show you what the loudness waveform looks like after we've played a couple of minutes. Okay, so I think that should be enough to give you a feel for, for what's happening in terms of PPMs and loudness. As you can see on the, the TSL monitoring system, uh, we've got significant peaks over our target loudness and we were seeing a lot of uh, PPMs peaking into the red. So before I can apply the Karma Audio filter and use that to correct the loudness, I first need to combine uh, my discrete surround configuration that I've got now into a single track and file. And that's very easy to do. If I just come to the file menu and I choose export, I can export my current project. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a, a preset that I've created, uh, which I'm called discrete surround track combine. And you'll see that what that's doing is it's exporting the master mix as a WAV file. And importantly, it's unticked the create multiple mono files. So this will export all six channels in a single WAV file. And then after export, I've selected send files to new tracks. So that will automatically import my exported file back into the project and place it on a new track for me. Now I just need to give it a name. So we'll call this combined. And I do want to replace it. So it's now exporting my discrete six channels around into a single six channel WAV file. And once it's done that, we'll then see that WAV file appear as the seventh track in my project. So you can just see that arriving now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solo that track just to turn off all the other tracks. 
And if I were to play this track now, I would get exactly the same results through my monitoring system as I was previously. So now we're ready to go. Soundtrack will now understand that those six tracks are a surround mix, and I can process that file. So I'm going to go to the process menu under effects, I height compliance with FC, the Karma Audio AU filter. Up pops my uh, filter parameter box. And at the moment we're UK based, so we're in this particular instance, we're going to target short term peak. I could equally be working in BS 1770 integrating mode, which would be more appropriate for uh, people who are trying to comply with ATSC 85 in the US. Or I could use EBU R128 gated integrating, which is becoming the predominant standard in Europe. But for the time being, I'm going to work with short term just because it gives us uh, something that's easy to see on the, the TSL monitoring system. And I'm also going to change this short term loudness to three seconds so that it matches the dynamics of the monitoring system. So you'll see exactly the results that you expect. Let's just say apply. This is the first pass. So you hopefully saw over here that was doing the uh, analysis pass and now it's just redrawing the waveforms. That was pretty quick. I'm just going to reopen this and now switch this into pass to normalize and hit apply and you'll see it start to process. Now this is taking slightly longer because not only are we now correcting the loudness level, we're also doing an eight times oversampling peak processing. So this is to make sure that in the true peak domain, we're not exceeding our PPM6 levels. Now the audio meters in Soundtrack, in the same way they are in Final Cut, are peak sample meters. So you can't actually use the meters in Soundtrack to make that assessment. What we're doing is we're upsampling the audio data to a much higher data rate, interpolating to find where the true peaks are, and then using some peak compression to bring them back into line. Okay, so that's the processing finished. Uh, I'm guessing that was about 30 to 40 seconds, and this is uh, a 4 minute and 40 second 6 channel surround sound file. So in terms of processing speed, it's pretty quick. That's basically everything done. Uh, just to prove the point, I'm going to play this out again through the TSL monitoring system, and this time you'll see the results after the loudness correction has been applied. And what you'll see now is that nothing on the PPM scales is peaking above PPM6, which was my target. I specified it as minus 10 dBTP, which is the same as PPM6. And equally on the loudness display on the right hand side, you'll see that none of the peaks now are going over a defined threshold of minus 18 LUFS and peaking into the red. And again, I'm just going to skip on to uh, about a minute and 20 in so that you can see and you'll get a comparison of the two waveforms that we had. Okay, so that's the same section of the audio played back that we played in the previous one. And you can now see by looking at the uh, right-hand side waveform on that TSL monitor that nothing now peaks over that minus 18 LUFS limit that we set. And the Karma Audio has done its job. So now I've done all my loudness processing. What I'm going to do now is just export those files back to discrete uh, mono based audio files. So if I come up here into file export, uh, let's give me some way to let's stick it at the root of my directory so it's easy to find. I'm going to call this loudness processed. And this time I'm going to pick a preset I've created called discrete surround final export. In this case, I've ticked the create multiple mono files. And I've set the after export option to be none, as I don't need to bring these back into my uh, surround. That's going to export now. So that's now exporting six discrete mono surround sound files, each of which will have information appended to the end of that file name, telling me which channel it's associated with. So that's the export finished, and if I now come back into here and I go and look, I'll have a loudness process directory. 
And in that loudness process directory, I now have my six files, each processed for loudness. And if I take those now downstream through my workflow, I'll have met my loudness <coughs> requirements. So there you have it. High speed, discrete audio, loudness and true peak correction with Karma Audio AU and Soundtrack. Don't forget, Karma Audio AU is available as a download directly from our website with a fully featureful 15 day trial. That's www.iheight.com slash calmaudio.asp.